Guys, if you're ever moving to another school, like packing, it's getting stressful, especially because I leave in two days. It's getting intense. guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Nisha and for today's video we are gonna be filming a packing video I'm so excited so as you guys may or may not know I am a medical student and I am gonna be traveling abroad to my new medical school so I'm really excited in order for me to go abroad I definitely need to pack a lot of suitcases so that includes like your clothes and a lot of household essentials as well because I'm not gonna say which school or where I'm going to just yet just so you know I do have to bring a lot of stuff over there as well and I kind of have an idea of what I do need to bring and what I don't so I kind of have a better idea of what to pack so for today's video you guys are gonna be coming along with me and we're gonna be packing all my suitcases together so I'm really trying hard to condense everything because for me I am not a light packer I love to overpack like if we are going for a seven day trip I will bring like 30 pairs of underwear just in case like I am that person so today we are gonna be packing a lot of my suitcases so I'm gonna take you guys along with me and I'm really excited because this is a new chapter in my life and I'm just ready to start brand new and it is 2023 so I'm really excited to be continuing my medical school journey so so as you guys can see, I am just very comfortably. I am in a nice comfy sweater. I got my hair tied back and we are going to be getting hard to wear packing all my suitcases because I literally leave in a few days and I'm never a last minute packer, but my anxiety, if you guys haven't watched my previous video, I will link it down below. My anxiety has literally been up to here. So I've been really nervous and I've been subconsciously just pushing my packing bag, but I leave in about four days. So I need to get all the packing done. So we are going to be going hard to work and making sure everything gets done today. So before we get on to to the packing video as always please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notifications give this video a thumbs up and let's get on to our packing so before we head on to the packing I literally do a lot of prep work a lot of prep work goes before I actually pack my suitcases so on my iPad here I actually created a packing list so I literally have suitcase one through six so I'm planning on taking six suitcases with me this is less than the amount of suitcases that I actually brought with me to my other school last year so I'm really happy that I tried to condense how many things I'm bringing but I basically have everything listed on here that I do want to bring so I basically got all those together put them aside and then we're gonna be packing those into our suitcases I haven't done my clothes just yet I'm probably gonna do my clothes and makeup and stuff last I just more so want to get all the household stuff which is suitcases three to six completed so that is what we're gonna accomplish today and later on we're gonna get all my clothes together I'm literally trying to bring one suitcase for the clothes because last time I literally bought three which was completely unnecessary so we're gonna bring that down to one and we're gonna get all the household stuff done so I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that I'm bringing and how I'm packing all the things into my suitcases Okay, so currently right now it is 3 o'clock p.m. So I do have a lot of packing to get done because this morning I was running errands So let's go ahead and start packing our suitcases so as you guys can see, these are the suitcases that I bought. I bought two brand new ones because my other ones were broken. And as you guys can see, the living room is literally a mess. I literally have everything suited up from one suitcase to the other. And then this is the suitcase that we are currently packing. This is one of the ones that I bought from my vlog. It's this big one that I paid $110 for, but it can hold so much. So basically in this suitcase, I have my comforter here. And then on the other side, I do have to bring pillows for my apartment. And because this isn't 50 pounds yet, we are going to be putting these textbooks. And each textbook that I have put, I put them in these little Shein bags so that way they don't get ruined during travel. So I did these for each one of my textbooks. So then we are gonna be putting them in here to make some room for them. Also guys, for anyone traveling, I highly recommend that you guys get a hand scale. This stuff is literally amazing, but it has a digital scale on the top there so you can literally attach this to the bottom of the suitcase and you can lift it up so that way you are able to weigh your suitcases to make sure that they are under 50 pounds because we're not about to pay overweight charge fees So I basically place all my textbooks here in these plastic bags or on top of my pillows. And then I place these ones here just because they were a little bit too bulky for that side. So I'm gonna close it. Then we are going to be weighing it with the hand scale to see if this is under 50 pounds. Fingers crossed, I really hope it is. Now it's time to weigh the suitcase. So I'm just going to turn it on. There we go, now it's on. We're just gonna attach it 
to the handle. Okay, now I'm just going to lift it up. Can you read how much it says? 48, nothing more can go in here. So this suitcase over here, this one weighs 49.1, so we're not gonna put anything else in here. So this has my pillows, comforter, my textbooks that I'm bringing. So literally nothing else is going inside this huge suitcase. So this is one out of six complete. So this is suitcase number two. So this one I already previously packed before. This basically has all the kitchen stuff, so I'm gonna show you guys what I had packed inside of this one. So in this suitcase, we have all the kitchen appliances. So I have all my pots and pans. At the bottom here, I included a toast there's also a Keurig in here as well. I put my Keurig because you guys know I love coffee. And then we have like a bunch of sponges, some toilet stuff, oven mitts, and some kitchen towels in here as well. So you guys can see like my Keurig is right over here. And I got it in the black, so that's up here. And then we also put some body lotions as well because we have some weight to spare. And we also have some dish soap as well. And in here I also brought a vacuum and my Febreze. And then I also packed some outlets here is the surge outlets that we needed and my toaster is right over here as well and then because we also had to distribute some of the weight i put some of the huggy wipes right in here as well and this one is completely packed the kitchen stuff i would say i'm a little bit more paranoid about packing so i had to get this out first just because i know the kitchen stuff can be a little bit more on the heavier side of things so thankfully we packed out the suitcase yesterday and all of this weighs about 40 to 49 pounds so we're not going to put anything else in here once it's at like 49 i learned my lesson from the past not to put anything in here or else it's going to be overweight and those overweight charges can be a little bit more pricey unless i absolutely need to pay for them overall this one is set to go so we're going to close this up and then we're going to pack suitcase number three I forgot to mention also in this pocket, I included some reusable bags as well just to take with me to go grocery shopping or if I need any of them. So I have them in here in this pocket. Okay, so I literally had to put my hair up in a bun because it was getting so hot because we have so much left to pack. So over there, we have two suitcases already done. So that is a go. We still have two more left to complete. And then we have this one that we're currently working on. So in this suitcase, I'll show you guys what we are going to be packing inside here. So in this suitcase, it's gonna be a mix of a little bit of bathroom and kitchen. So we basically have cotton pads and cotton balls, and we have some containers as well. I even brought a pack of noodles just in case. Like I never know when I'm gonna go grocery shopping. We also have my desk lamp in here. We have some of our vitamins. We also have some body wash left over because it couldn't fit in the other suitcase. Toothpaste. We also have these devices I got from on Amazon and they basically ward off like cockroaches and stuff like that from the apartment. And guys, this actually works because I found a huge cockroach in my apartment in Navis. So these work. I also have a shower caddy as well for the shower. And I also have a steamer and my shaker. I have to put this in a plastic bag. We also have some plates and bowls and a strainer. And then we also have my Brita filter in here as well for the water because the fridges don't have the thing for the water. And then I also have a few other things to pack here. And we're basically gonna fill this suitcase up with a bunch of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna utilize what we got. So I have my trash can here. And we're actually gonna put stuff in this trash can just for my room. So we're gonna put stuff in here and then put it in the suitcase just to utilize space. So in here is gonna go my toothbrush holder. I'm also gonna carry this measuring cup and inside we're gonna put a soap container in here. And then we're just gonna put this inside the trash can. I'm also gonna be taking an emergency lamp as well because you never know when there's gonna be a blackout. So we're just gonna put this in here as well. And we're gonna put the cockroach pellant in here. My oatmeal jar is gonna go in here for my overnight oats. And as you guys know, I had to bring candles. So I brought two Bath & Body Works candles and wrapped them up and we're gonna put them in here. Just like this. So inside this, we utilize the space that we can fit inside the suitcase. Okay, so basically now to save space, we're gonna put all the teas from Starbucks, the tea vanity teas. Because there's like literally only like 10 in here, we're gonna put them in the plastic bag just to conserve a lot more space. Because guys, look how much space is in here. Like we literally don't need that much space when we're traveling, so we gotta save space. And we basically did that for all the tea. So we did this for the citrus mint. And we also did it for the English breakfast as well. So basically in this suitcase, we tried to fill it up as much as we can. So we have some toilet paper, a sewing kit, 
and the trash can is on the bottom right here. We also put some of my toothpaste as well, some of my coffee cups. I also have an ice maker as well because I'm that person who loves to chew ice. Some Lysol sprays, my nightlight. We also have a shoe. We have all the teas packed in here right inside the caddy to save some space. And then we also have some Keurig cups as well. I do have some more to put into the other suitcases. This is all that fits in. Now we are going to weigh it. Fingers crossed it's not overweight. So the suitcase is only 39.7. Yeah. So the suitcase was only 40 pounds. So we can put a lot more stuff in there. I didn't even know it was going to be that light. So we're going to try and see if we can put any of this other stuff in the suitcase to make up 10 pounds. Okay, so because we had 10 extra pounds, we put in some matches. We put in these cleaners, which is basically helps to clean my ear piercings because they haven't healed yet. We also put in the soap as well. Some lint rollers. We also put in some sunscreen and bug spray in this bag. We put in some utensils as well and a pack of gum so hopefully this all meets 50 pounds okay so we have three suitcases completed we weighed that one that one weighed 50 on the dot we're gonna pack these two next so one of them's gonna have all my school supplies and such and the rest of the bathroom stuff and then this one's basically gonna have like a lot of my skincare and shoes at least we have three out of six then okay guys so we ended up packing the suitcase right over here and when we weighed it it weighed about 35 pounds which was amazing but we still had so much left to pack because it was still light but the suitcase is so small so unfortunately i felt like I bought like really small suitcases so we're gonna empty all this out and put it in the suitcase right here so this is a lot more bigger this is about like a 70 pound size suitcase so we're gonna put all the stuff in here because majority of the stuff in the suitcase is light so if we can make it up to 50 pounds with all the light stuff that would be amazing so basically in this suitcase we basically had the laundry stuff and the bath mats we had my diffuser some of the liner and pads we also had some of my school supplies such as like my equipment diffuser essentials clocks we also have like a bunch of stuff too like some of the plates plastic plates as well so we have a few of these stuff left to pack and this as well to hold my textbooks and my backpack that we can just stuff like on the top so we're going to transfer all this stuff which should fit in this suitcase right here so honestly, when anyone asks how packing is going, packing is stressful because you have to make sure that nothing is overweight and that everything you need fits in the suitcases. So yeah, it's stressful and it's tiring, but it's also enjoyable at the same time. So as you guys can see, this suitcase is way bigger than those ones. So in this one, I basically have my backpack. I also stuffed a lot of stuff in here as well. So basically everything from the other suitcase, my laundry basket, bathroom mats, shower curtains, Lysol wipes, umbrella, all my school stuff, such as like my shelves, my clinical skills, equipment, tissues. I also have three sets of hangers in here as well. Some sandwich bags. I also have some kitchen stuff like plastic forks, spoons, stuff like that. And over here, I do have a clock, a stapler, and my mirror setup. This basically fit a whole bunch of other stuff. And I also have some bathroom towels in here as well. So we're gonna weigh this and hopefully it is 50 pounds. Hey guys, so currently right now it is 11 p.m. So I literally spent the rest of the day just organizing and sorting out what kind of clothes I will be bringing to the island because I literally want everything to fit in one suitcase just to minimize how much luggage I'm bringing because we already have four packs. This is gonna be the fifth with all my clothes and then the sixth one, which is gonna be my final one that's basically gonna have all my shoes skincare and makeup as well so we literally have to make sure everything fits in this one suitcase so it definitely is gonna be a challenge so I literally have everything laid out over here so I literally put a sheet on the floor and I sorted out all the clothes my underwear my bras some of the bags that I will be taking I also have some dresses up there and some gym wear that I'll be taking as well and of course like probably not everything might fit in here but I'm gonna prioritize the clothing that I definitely want to go into the suitcase first and whatever's left over I'm just gonna put it aside and once I come home for the semester I'll probably bring it with me so that way I'm able to wear it so yes let's get started on packing the suitcase so this is a suitcase I will be bringing with me on my trip. This is my mono suitcase and I've literally been using it for the past year and it's huge guys. It's really big and can fit a lot. And what I like about it is that it has like a really nice lock system right over here. And it's also in the color pink too and it can hold quite a lot of stuff inside and it also came with like a few bags too that I will show you. So inside the suitcase it did come with four of these shoe bags which is amazing or you can use them for any other purpose as well. And it also came with two laundry bags as well which is so nice. So in total, it came with four shoe bags and two laundry bags, so six bags in total, which is amazing. And because this is a hard shell suitcase, it also came with a scrub, which you are able to use to wipe down the suitcase, which is what I really love. It is pretty incredible. Like I have no complaints about traveling with the suitcase. 
So this is what the inside of the suitcase looks like. You do have the standard area right over here that you are able to put stuff in. And then you also have these as well. And there's pockets on that side and on this side. And then you have a lot of storage area for all your other stuff. So we are going to fill everything here with all these clothes in this suitcase. So first, I'm going to start off by packing the dresses. I only have about five or six outfits of dresses, such as this two-piece. So I'm basically just going to take them together and just roll them up to create more space in the suitcase. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of my sweats and hoodies that have to go in. Cause when I go to class, I love to wear sweaters and hoodies. I like to feel comfortable, but still look good. But sometimes when I just wanna be like extra comfortable, I'll just bring some hoodies. I have to bring a windbreaker just in case it does rain. Now we have all my leggings. So as you guys can tell, I absolutely love to wear leggings. They're the most comfortable thing ever. So I brought with me seven pairs, one for each day of the week. I know I'm not gonna be wearing all of these and of course I will be doing laundry, but you can never have too many pairs of leggings. So this is what it's looking like so far. So I have my, all my dresses here, my sweaters, all my leggings, and I can definitely put another row on top as well for some of all my t-shirts and stuff. And then everything else should be able to fit here. I am wishful thinking, but hopefully we can get it all done. Okay, so I think I filled up as much as I could on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other side and get this side filled. So basically all we have left are some of my jeans, the tops, and then my gym clothes, and then my underwear and stuff. So hopefully all of that I'm able to fit in on this side. Okay, so I basically completed packing. So on this side we have these clothes. And then here I put in some of my silk pillowcases in the pocket and then a bucket hat because you never know when it's going to be sunny. And then over here we have all the clothes. I have my bed spreads over there. And yeah, everything basically fit. All the clothing fit. So that's pretty good. Plus the bed spread fit as well. So like I kind of like calculated for extra space. The only thing that didn't fit though was my gym clothes. So I probably might have to put that in my carry-on. And some of these, which is like my underwear, bras, and some other towels. We're going to have to figure out that tomorrow and some of my purses didn't go in as well. So basically tomorrow I have to figure out my last Zuki situation. I definitely have to consider all the things that I am going to be bringing and some of the things I definitely need to leave back because I don't want to be overweight with my suitcases. One suitcase is overweight but I feel like I might be paying that overweight fee regardless because it literally has everything I need in that suitcase. But these ones I'm going to try to make sure it is under 50 pounds and the last one that I am packing tomorrow because it is like past 12 o'clock in the night. So tomorrow we are going to be packing my makeup case which is going to be this case right over here so we're going to be packing that tomorrow my carry-on and the last suitcase as well and hopefully i'm under 50 pounds so i will see you guys tomorrow for the rest of the packing I also forgot my white coat is also going on top as well. I cannot forget that. And I also did have some scrubs as well. They might have to go on my carry-on too because I don't have place for them. But it's only three pairs of scrubs so I should be okay. This is it for my check bag for my clothes. Hey guys and welcome back. Today's a Monday. I leave on Thursday so I literally leave in three days or two and a half days. Yeah so my room is literally chaos. I have one more suitcase left to pack. If you guys remember from yesterday I weighed this suitcase that had all my clothes. It was two pounds over so I do have to take something out of it because you know I don't want to get charged for two pounds. Honestly it's not worth it. So I have to do that and then I have to organize all the skincare products that I am taking with me to my new school. I have a full face 
makeup on because I had just finished filming some new videos for you guys. I literally filmed like a haul and a makeup tutorial on this look. I have all the skincare products out here. This is going to be quite a process. I'm just organizing through all the stuff I need. I'm not taking stuff that is too heavy. So yeah, I'm just going to spend a few minutes organizing this. And once I have all the prep done, then we can pack our last suitcase. And then basically we'll be done for packing. Actually, no. So I do have to pack my jewelry and my makeup case as well because I didn't pack any makeup just yet. We still have quite a few things to do. And then we have to take out two pounds from my clothing suitcase. So this should be fun. So this is suitcase number six, the last suitcase. I decided to use this instead of the green one because it's a lot more bigger. So we're going to try and fit all of these in here. And I tried to narrow down some of the skincare products I'm getting as well. It's literally so messy here, but we're going to get all this sorted out. So I ended up getting some of these packing cubes from Amazon. And I basically used them to pack some of the leftover clothes I have. So these are basically my scrubs. And I got these from Code Next. They're brand new. I can't wait to try them on. But I basically just put them in here and they just fit really nicely as like the packing cube and then they're just gonna go into that suitcase so I think I have to bring a seventh suitcase I think it is inevitable because we try to fit everything into one suitcase it was just too much like everything isn't gonna fit and it's gonna be overweight and it's gonna be stuffy and it's just not gonna be pretty so instead of paying overweight charges which is gonna be like a hundred dollars for a suitcase we might as well just bring an extra one and just pay the fifty dollars extra because this is what we're looking at right now so we tried to pack some of my shampoos and hair stuff we also have some other stuff in here my bikini underwear bras my scrubs the rest of my gym stuff and then we still have my shoes and the rest of this stuff to pack and it's just not gonna work out and the suitcase is already feeling pretty heavy so we're gonna put everything else into the suitcase so we're gonna eventually end up using the green one which is a little bit smaller because we don't need that much stuff left so we might as well just put everything in here and whatever clothes didn't fit in my other suitcase we're just gonna put it in here just to even out the weight guys if you're ever moving to another school like packing it's getting stressful especially because I leave in two days, it's getting intense to just try to finalize everything that needs to go into the suitcase. I also got these cute sets off of Amazon. I'm using these to organize all my hair care products. So this one all has all my shampoo, my conditioner, and more shampoo and hair oil. And this one has some more hair stuff such as like my curl creams, leave-in conditioners, and such like that. And then this one over here has my micellar water, some eyebrow serums, lotions. And on the other side, it has some of my mask as well, which is pretty nice because these it's easy to clean. So I think I finally narrowed down what makeup products I'm gonna bring because last time I brought way too many products so I really want to narrow down the size because I don't wear makeup every day to class so this is the makeup bag I'm bringing I got this from Sephora you have space storage over here and it comes with two storage bags over here and I also have Charlotte Tilbury shimmer oh yeah I brought this just in case you never know if I want to add shimmer to my legs or anything so I have that in here I left that in there actually so this is all the stuff I'm bringing it also did include a little pouch as well so I thought I was gonna include all of these and these are basically mascaras, eyeliners, mini mascaras, eyebrow pencils. And then over here, I kind of laid out everything that I want to bring. So I got my primers, foundations, concealers, including the new Rare Beauty Eye Brightener. I'm excited to use this. I also have brow wax, powders. I brought this palette just because I thought this palette would be good because it has all the colors that I would need if I needed to use eyeshadow. I brought this Charlotte palette with me last time and it was literally a godsend. So basically in this palette, you have three eyeshadows. You have a bronzer, an under eye brightener, a blush, and a highlight. So it literally has everything you need. This is literally my holy grail setting spray. So I had to bring this as well as the milk one because it is travel friendly. And you never know when you need extra. And then I decided on these two lashes. So this is the Glamnetic Everyday Lash. Absolutely love it. And then we have the Lavish Lash. So this is a little bit more of a fuller lash. So I brought this one. Also had to include my Rare Beauty blot set so this basically includes blotting sheets and a powder as well so I thought I would include this and then in this pouch over here I basically have all my nail stuff sorted out press-ons by Glamnetic just because my nails look really bad right now because I got my acrylics removed I also brought this one as well I also brought some toe dividers and a few polishes and cuticle oils that I might need so all that is stored in here and for an everyday sort of lash I'm gonna bring my demi wispies just in case like I want to go out to dinner or something and I want to put on something really light so I think I have everything sorted out so now we are going to pack everything into here and hopefully it fits and it's not too overpacked I 
actually I'm just gonna take this out and I'm going to swap it for these two mini ones. So I found this cute mini Laura Mercier powder, so I'm gonna put this one in. And then I also have this Spare Minerals translucent powder as well, so that way I don't have to bring this huge product. So have the eyelash applicator and the eyelash curler and a sharpener. Oh, and this too. Let's get at the top. I'm probably just gonna have to put this separately. And that is my makeup case. Okay, and for my lips, I'm only bringing these products. I'm bringing my lip stains, my liquid lipstick and lipsticks, my SPF Jack Black lip balms, plus a Fenty lip oil. I'm bringing two lip liners, which are my staple, the Milk Chocolate by Mario and my Cork by MAC, as you guys know. And then I'm bringing these lip glosses and then this Makeup by Mario glow stick. And then my lip plumpers by Too Faced Lip Injections. These are my favorite. And the Fenty clear gloss. Absolutely love this. So all of this is basically going to go in here as well as I'm bringing two of my Laneige night sleeping masks. And then in this bag, I basically included all of my lashes in here. I'm so thankful I saved a lot of these Clinique bags from like those Hudson Bay sales. They actually came in handy. So basically these are the final two suitcases. So in this suitcase over here, I basically have some toilet paper, my bras, undies, and some socks. I also put a pair of shoes in here as well. And then I have some pads, my hair care stuff, my Clinique wipes. And I'm also gonna put in a bounty sheet as well, as well as my bathing suit and bikinis which fit in this nice bag and then I'm just going to put in some plates as well and that's gonna be in that suitcase it's gonna close trust me it's gonna close and then in this suitcase here I basically have a colander I have some travel bags in here I have my makeup case in here and the rest in here are basically shoes I also have my everyday cotton pads in here and some more pads and then I'm basically gonna put my extra skincare in here I put them in these plastic bags these to be my old before gratis bags and and then I have these bags and these are filled with my lashes, nail polish, and another bag worth the skincare. So all of this is gonna fit in here. So fingers crossed, I'm gonna try to close these and measure them. I also forgot my brushes. I can't have makeup without brushes. So I have all my brushes in this Morphe case right over here. And I'm just going to put this in here as well. Also for perfume, I'm bringing all of these sample fragrances with me. I've had these stocked up for so long. I'm just going to bring travel sizes with me just to finish these out. These are all very nice summer floral scents. I'm also going to be bringing along my Gucci travel size fragrance and my Prada one as well. I also have these little cosmetic bags. This one is filled with a bunch of claw clips and some of my makeup clips as well by Sephora Collection. So these are gonna go in here. And in here is like a bunch of scrunchies and some bobby pins as well that I'm gonna be taking. And these are all by Kisich. It's a brand Kisich. It's also on Sephora and I got these on their website. And these are satin hair scrunchies, so I had to take some of these with me. Okay guys, so basically everything is packed in these suitcases. So I weighed all the suitcases. So the green one here, this one weighs about 40. This one weighs about 50 on the dot. And this one over here, this one also weighs 52. So they're pretty close in terms of weight, but I got everything to fit in here. The only thing left to fit in this suitcase, this one just needs my skincare currently that I'm using to put in there, as well as my hair tools, such as my Revlon blow dryer brush and my straightener. So that's the only thing remaining to go in here. I also need to add my ring light as well. I'm probably going to add that to another suitcase that I previously packed. Now all we're going to do is pack my jewelry. So I have all my jewelry laid out and then we're going to be packing my carry-on. And then tomorrow I think I'm going to finish packing my travel bag as well. And yeah, literally this has been such a crazy packing experience. Like whenever I'm moving away from school, like I literally bring everything with me because you never know what you're actually going to need. So this is the jewelry I'm bringing. I got this cute case off of Amazon. It's like a little travel case. I absolutely love it. So this is what I use to travel with. So this is where the necklaces go. I packed some of my stud earrings as well, like other options. I usually wear my daily diamond studs, but I brought some other options as well. So I have some rings over here, have some other necklaces as well. I also brought like little huggy earrings. There's some anklets here. I kind of separated them. There's like a huge chain right over here. And then there's another chain here. And I also brought some 
some hoop earrings as well. And then I'm also going to bring these other Apple Watch bands. So this is the one I usually take to go to the gym. I brought this extra one just in case. And then these are the necklaces I'm going to be bringing. I'm going to be bringing this butterfly one, a few of my nominal necklaces as well. If you guys haven't checked out the nominal necklaces, they are amazing. I have a discount code that you guys can use in the description box down below to save money on nominal purchases. I love to wear these because they are 18 karat gold plated and they haven't rusted or tarnished on me. So all of these right over here are nominal necklaces except this one right here. This one I got off another website and this one as well. But all of this I'm literally going to be fitting inside this case and then it's going to go in my carry-on. So this is basically my carry-on that I'm going to be taking. This is my Manos carry-on. I absolutely love this because inside here there's literally space for organization. It's cute. It's pink. It is a hard shell case. It also has a lock here as well. And then when you open it up, you have all this space inside the luggage and I absolutely love it. So basically in this luggage, we are going to be packing my home clothes. So the clothes that I'm going to be wearing around my apartment and such and my comfort clothes. And then in the pocket up at the top, we're basically going to be packing some of my books, my skincare, and then we're going to be packing my jewelry and some other essentials as well. So let's go ahead and start packing. So I'm just going to be starting off with some of my t-shirts. put these in the pocket up here and I'll just put this up here like that so hopefully everything fits so I'm just going to buckle it so now we are going to go ahead and pack this one so I'm just going to put my jewelry case here I'm going to put my beads here. Then I'm just going to put my skincare right over here. Then this is my cords. This is my tripod. Yes, keep it there. And I also brought some cotton pads because you never know when you're going to need them. And this bag basically has all my travel perfumes. So I just put them in here. Of course, I got some batteries. I'm going to put that in the pocket up at the front. We got some extra masks. We also got some peace out acne dots to fit in here. And then I just have a few electronic stuff. And then I also brought some cables as well. And then we also have an eyelash curler from Shiseido and more lip balm. And I'm also going to bring my sunglasses as well. These are by Top Box. So I wore these a lot, so I absolutely love them. And then I also brought these cute bright pink ones which I think is amazing. And I also did keep a pair as well in my travel bag that I take to the airport. So I'm just gonna put two more in here. I just hope everything zips up. <laughs> So we were able to get the suitcase closed. Now for this pocket, I'm just gonna put the batteries. I'm just gonna slip them right in there and close that. She is ready to go. So we basically got a lot done today. We got my six and seven suitcase pack. We got my carry-on pack. We packed my makeup. We packed my jewelry. All my skincare and stuff is packed in there except the ones that I'm currently using. So I have to pack that the morning of and put that in my suitcase. But overall, basically everything is packed. So tomorrow I'm just going to pack my airport bag, which is like my base bag. And I'll show you guys what that is. So it is like 1230 in the morning. So I am going to go take off my makeup, wash my hair, and take a good shower and I will see you guys tomorrow for the final bag packing. Hey guys, so today is Wednesday, so it's literally a day before I leave. So I literally spent the day packing my airport bag. So I'm bringing this. This is my base tote bag, the work tote. This is the big size, and it literally holds everything that I need. Like literally in here, all that I packed was my folder that has all my documentations, immigration photos, and stuff like that. I basically have a pouch filled with sanitizers and some liners as well, because you never know when you're actually gonna need them. I also packed some pens and some gum. I also packed an eyeglass cleaner as well because you never know if you're gonna need it. I wear my contacts on my flights, but just in case I need to switch out into my glasses, I have that. I also walked with some mini body spray. This one is by Victoria's Secret. I also 
packed a hand lotion as well. I also brought a pair of sunglasses. These are from Guess. I love these pairs. If you guys keep up with my vlogs, I bought this last year during my break. I also packed my five minute journal in here just to bring it with me. In this bag here, I have my charger. So this is my wireless charger that I can just plug into my phone. And then I have a battery pack here with me to charge my other devices if I need to. And then I also brought a wallet. So this is my school wallet that I like to use. It's very small and compact and can hold like cash and your card. So I keep that in here. And then I also have this pouch here. I got this from Amazon and in here it literally holds everything. So as you guys can see, it is pretty full. So I basically have stuff such as Advil. I have blotting sheets. I have sanitizers. I also have Tums in here as well. I have tissues, a tie to go. I also have these sage oils as well. I like to keep two of them. So this is a sleep well and the peppermint halo just in case I have a headache or I don't know I want to sleep on the plane I also brought some lip balm as well and of course I had to pack some eye drops and I also have some more hauls I have some more liners in here I basically have like a lot of stuff packed in here of course like towards the end of the night I might add a little bit more I'm definitely gonna add a lot more lip balms and in here I also brought my Kindle I love to read on the flight so I usually have some books in here and I bring this with me and I'm also bringing my iPad and my laptop as well and it usually fits in this pocket right at the top. I know the view isn't the best, but that's where my laptop and my iPad are gonna go. I also like to keep a spare phone, but that one is currently charging. I also like to keep some granola bars in my bag as well, just so I can eat it on the plane at the airport if I get hungry. And yeah, that is basically the gist of what I like to keep in this bag. It literally holds a lot. I am super excited to be done packing. I know this packing was very chaotic. That is the gist of packing your whole life away to go to new school. So yeah, I will see you guys for the final weighing of my suitcases. So we are finally done packing all of the suitcases. We reweighed everything and everything is 50 pounds. As you guys can see, all the suitcases are lined up on the walls, ready to go. These are all seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that one we are weighing right now. So that's seven. Then my carry-on. So all these bags are ready to go. So as you guys can see from my entire journey, packing up suitcases is not an easy task as you would think a lot of work and planning goes into these suitcases. All these suitcases weigh 50 pounds, which is good. So there's not gonna be any overweight charges this time, which is a good thing for me because I always overpack everything and I have to pay for at least two overweight suitcases. So I hope you guys did enjoy that video on packing all my suitcases with me to my new school. As you guys can see, it was a lot of work, but I hope you guys did enjoy watching that video. As always, if you guys love watching my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, turn on your post notifications, give this video a thumbs up and I'm gonna go take a shower and go to bed really early because I gotta wake up really early tomorrow for my flight so I will see you guys in my next video bye guys